action. In fact, these tanning booths, these could dramatically reduce our health care costs in America. Because during the winter months, guess what? That's when everybody's getting sick from the flu, colds. Why are they catching colds and why are they catching influenza in the winter months? Because they're vitamin D deficient. That's why. That's why the colds go away in the summer because more people are getting outside. So all you got to do, if you really want to help the nation be healthier, you want to reduce cancer by as much as 80%, you want to reduce the risk of heart disease, you want to reduce diabetes, reduce obesity, reduce mental health disorders, then all you got to do is get people into the tanning booths during the winter months combined with good nutrition, antioxidants, astaxanthin, blue-green algae, chlorella, spirulina, superfoods, healing foods, uh, functional foods, medicinal herbs. That's how you can save our nation from its healthcare disaster, the disaster that it's currently experiencing. And tanning booths can play a crucial role. So don't you find it interesting that these are being attacked? Because the American Cancer Society doesn't want you to discover the truth about tanning booths. The Susan G. Komen nonprofit group doesn't want you to know the truth, I think, about tanning booths. Because if women were in tanning booths, getting vitamin D during the winter months, guess what? They wouldn't be growing breast cancer tumors during those months. Most tumors grow during the winter months. It's, it's a simple fact of the cancer industry that they don't want you to know. Now, this is true both for African Americans and of course for Latinos and people of Chinese or Asian descent. They have darker skin color. Now I noticed something very strange in the Chinese community in particular. They think that getting dark skin is a bad thing. They think that white skin looks really good, looks cosmetically good. This is especially true in Japan, where you see women walking around with umbrellas. They don't want sunlight to touch their skin. Well, those are the first women to get breast cancer. Those are the first women to suffer the consequences of vitamin D deficiency. If you see someone with pale skin, you should know in your mind that person is not healthy. That person has a vitamin D deficiency unless they're taking a lot of fish oils to compensate for their lack of a tan. A tan person is actually a healthy person. And remember, if you have darker skin, you're going to need a lot more time in the sun, as much as 10 times more time as a fair-skinned person to get the same amount of vitamin D creation in your body. So keep that in mind. All you African Americans out there, you know why your cancers are worse? You know why you're not being told the truth about this? Why are African American women suffering more serious breast cancers? Why are African American men suffering more serious prostate cancers? This is the answer. The sunlight isn't getting to them because they have darker skin pigmentation, so they're vitamin D deficient, which means their cancers are more aggressive, more fatal, and more profitable for the cancer industry. That's right. I said it. Now, I care about everybody out there, no matter what your skin color. I want all of you to be healthy. That's why I'm telling you the truth. If you have dark skin and you're working indoors, like you're working in a cubicle in an office job under artificial light, you are a ticking time bomb of cancer unless you change your lifestyle and get outside and get some sunlight or start taking a lot of fish oils to get vitamin D in your body. Believe me, you're a ticking time bomb unless you get enough vitamin D in your body. And I guarantee you, in America today, probably 95% of African American people are vitamin D deficient right now. And the cancer industry knows this, and they know that that is a future profit center for their industry, and they won't tell the black men and women in this country the truth about skin cancer, about sunlight, about vitamin D, and cancer prevention. They don't want them to know the truth, because if they knew the truth, people could cure their own cancer for free. Step outside your front door. You could cure your own cancer for free. You don't need a prescription to get sunlight. You don't need to pay a royalty to get sunlight. Sunlight's free. Sunlight is something that was given to us by God and Mother Nature. Sunlight is something that we all have a right to, and it's something that is good medicine all by itself. It's free medicine, and it's the best medicine in the world for preventing and even to help reverse cancer. And that is exactly why you've never been told the truth about sunlight and how it's good medicine. Instead, you've been told the lies. The lies I already reviewed here. The lie that sunlight causes cancer. That's what they want you to believe. That's crazy. It's like saying water causes dehydration. No, sunlight is the light of life. There would be no life on this planet 
without sunlight. Sunlight is the bringer of every, every molecule of life on this planet. You exist, you live, you breathe today because of sunlight. It takes a very evil institution to convince you that sunlight is bad for you. It's like telling you that air is bad, or that water is bad, or that food is bad for you, you know, like fresh food, fresh produce. It's not bad. You need air. You need water. You need sunlight. You need fresh produce from Mother Nature. These things are not only good for you, these are the things that heal you. So it's no surprise that the institutions out there that make money off of cancer, that make money off of heart disease and diabetes, want you to believe that these things are bad for you. No surprise, because that's, that's their profit motive. The less you know, the more ignorant you remain about sunlight and vitamin D and cancer, the more money they're going to make off you and off your suffering and off of your disease. The more they're going to be able to exploit your ignorance for their corporate profits. And trust me, that's what they want to do. And they're getting away with it. They've been doing it for generations. And only now, because of publications like this, naturalnews.tv and free speech, are we able to get out here and tell you the truth about this. The truth that I hope you realize is suddenly obvious, isn't it? It's suddenly obvious. The sun's good for you. And you need sunlight to be healthy. And that it is lack of sunlight that causes degenerative disease in our country today. It's the lack of sunlight that's the problem. It's the lack of sunlight that causes suffering and healthcare bankruptcy and spiraling out, out of control healthcare costs. It's the lack of sunlight which is darkness, and it is darkness which is ignorance. And this darkness and ignorance is destructive and evil, and that's what the industry is trying to put onto you. Evil, ignorance, and destruction, and disease, and bankruptcy, because they make more money the more you fall into that trap. And I'm trying to bring you some literal illumination here, just to say sunlight is what brings you life. It's what brings you freedom, health. It's what brings you opportunities. It gives you the ability to move through this world with health, mental health and physical health, and with illumination, so that you can do whatever your purpose is on this world. You can pursue it when you have health, and when you have sunlight, and when you have clarity, because of the illumination that sunlight brings into your life. Sunlight does all that, yeah. This is more than just biological, more than just chemical. This is also a spiritual discussion. The industry, the cancer industry, wants you to live in darkness. I want you to live in the light. I want you to see and experience all the light and all the love and all the warmth and energy that, that sunlight can bring you and everything that sunlight stands for, which is knowledge, which is awareness, freedom, choices. Yeah, that's what you deserve. That's what I deserve. That's what we, the people, deserve on this planet. But there are those out there who want you to stay in darkness, so they're selling you on things like this, sunscreen. Sunscreen, what does it do? It keeps you in darkness because it blocks ultraviolet light from reaching your skin so that your skin can generate more vitamin D so that you can prevent cancer. Sunblock is evil. It is bad for you. And it contains chemicals that themselves may cause cancer. Most sunscreen products contain synthetic chemicals. So the more you put this on, the higher your risk of cancer gets and the more money they make off of you in the cancer industry. So don't use sunscreen, use nutrition. Use nutrition so that you have a built-in internal sunscreen. Now, I'm not saying go out into the sun for eight hours if you have pale skin and fry yourself to a crisp. You gotta use common sense on this. Start taking some antioxidants like astaxanthin, like uh, blue-green algae, like spirulina, like chlorella. Take these antioxidants for at least 30 days, build up your antioxidant reserve in your skin, and then go out into the sun for something reasonable and see how you do. Maybe you can handle 30 minutes in the sun. Maybe you can handle an hour. Maybe you can handle two hours. Over time, that will increase dramatically. I used to burn 20 minutes. Now I can be in the sun for two or three hours, no problem. And I, and I won't burn. I'm not burned. I was just out biking before I did this video, out in the sun with no sunscreen. I, I don't even use sunscreen. I wouldn't even think of it. I use nutrition as my sunscreen, and I get sun almost every single day. Now,